Chairs No Waiting, episode number 335, Myers Lake Revisited. Two Chairs No Waiting is brought to you each and every week by the fine folks over at Weaver's Department Store. Drop by weaversdepartmentstore.com and check out some of the great t-shirts, books, DVDs, all kinds of stuff they have there at Weaver's that I know you'd enjoy. So head over there and check it out. Uh, you can get a Words of Wisdom t-shirt or you can get a Barney's No Jerk t-shirt. Great stuff at weaversdepartmentstore.com. Two Chairs No Waiting is also brought to you by donations from listeners just like you. Thank you for your support. <laughs> thank you to the Mayberry Band for that wonderful rendition of Stars and Stripes Forever. And thank you for being part of the podcast. It is always great to see you. I am your host for Two Chairs No Waiting, Alan Newsom, And we always enjoy, or I do, getting together here and talking a little bit about The Andy Griffith Show and Mayberry. And I want to thank some folks. Uh, this week, uh, I talked about it a little bit last week's podcast. I want to thank them. That uh, the, there is a thing called Patreon, and Patreon is something you can go to. And if you get value from this show and enjoy the podcast, you can go over to Patreon.com. There's a link on the front page of the podcast website, and you can donate. Now, you can give per episode is the way you do it, and you can decide to donate a dollar or 50 cents or $2 dollars per episode uh, to help keep the podcast going. So uh, I want to thank, uh, we have doubled our number of patrons in the last week. We went from two to four. <laughs> so I want to thank all of you guys that are doing patrons. I want to thank all of you that have also donated to help keep the show going. That's just as good. And if you can't do either one of those, you just don't feel like you have to spread the words about the podcast or the word about it and let people know about it. Tell them to come by and visit and uh, getting connected with all the Mayberry fun. All right, folks, uh, as I said, uh, we're going to be talking about Myers Lake Revisited on this podcast episode. The uh, We've talked about this before. Now, Myers Lake is a real place. And it's called Franklin Canyon, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But we've talked about this twice before on the podcast. Now, once was on the 13th episode of the podcast, and it was called Myers Lake is... Franklin Canyon. Now, I've got to tell you, that was, golly, that was uh, the 13th episode, and it was recorded or published on January the 6th, 2009. Now, it was audio only. It's a very short episode, but you can go back and listen to it. It's episode number 13. And then we talked about it one more time on episode number uh, 126, which is called Return to Myers Lake where I went back in and revisited some of the things we talked about in episode 13 because we had questions. Well, you know what? Here we are. It's That was, I should have said, that was recorded back on March the 8th, 2011. So I did one in 2009, 2011, and here it is, 2015, and it's time to revisit Myers Lake again because I have gotten uh, some contact information about this. People have asked me questions about, hey, where's Franklin Canyon? And let me uh, read this to you because this fellow called me uh, a while back, and his name is Gilbert Nicholson, and he's from Birmingham, Alabama. And he called, uh, or he actually sent me a, a voicemail asking me to give him information about where to find Franklin Canyon. And so let me tell you a little bit about his trip, and then we'll talk a little bit more about this. Uh, he came to me and said, let's see if I can get this in the right spot there there we go uh, he said uh, this is Gilbert from Birmingham we talked uh, about a month ago about Franklin Canyon before our trip or his trip to Los Angeles since you were so kind to help me identify the spot I thought I'd email you some pictures we took unfortunately there was a production team shooting around the area uh, of the lake and they were they stationed a guy to watch their equipment right in the middle of the path where Andy and Barney walked. That's right. His tents and chairs and a lot of junk was in the path across uh, across from the picnic table. Uh, but, but he was nice and let us wander around down there. And he said, you were exactly right. You can tell the sp that's the spot, even without looking through the camera lens. Now that my daughter is living out there in California and I have a free place to stay, 
I hope to go out there again for the fourth time to see the site minus some of the camping equipment. One thing we may, you may want to remind people of is that there is no cell phone reception, none, <laughs> down there in Franklin Canyon. So you can't pull up YouTube and watch the video intro of the Andy Griffith Show and compare it to what you're seeing. He said, I got around this obstacle by videoing the intro on YouTube from my son's iPhone. So he, he made a copy of it so that he could pull it up uh, without having Internet access. So he said, thanks again for steering me in the right direction. And he goes on to describe the pictures he has. He's got pictures. And uh, if you're watching the video version of the podcast, you can see the pictures from uh, Franklin Canyon. Uh, and uh, he, he is uh, going to get there. So, again, this is Gilbert Nicholson, and he got to go to Myers Lake. Now, i tell, got to tell you guys, I want to thank Gilbert for writing in and taking the time to write in. I enjoyed talking to him. We talked on the phone for probably 45 minutes or more following one of the podcast uh, recordings I did a few weeks ago. I guess a month or so ago now is what he said. But uh, he was very nice. I enjoyed talking to him, and he did not know about some of the other episodes, that episode 126 or episode 13 of the Two Chairs podcast. So I pointed him that way, and there are videos and maps and everything there to help you be able to find Franklin Canyon. So I, as I was saying, it is a... I won't say religious experience, but it's a very uh, a very fun thing to do if you're in the uh, Franklin Canyon area. Now, we haven't talked about where that is. I mentioned, I guess it's in California, but I want to take you there on a little virtual tour. So I'm going to try to describe all this stuff for the audio version, uh, but the video version of this podcast would be great to watch if you get a chance to, if you're planning to go to Franklin Canyon because you'll be able to see some of the things uh, that I'm, uh, I'm describing. So first off, uh, Franklin Canyon is, uh, we were coming to it from the Ventura Boulevard side. So we were on the ben Ventura Boulevard. Now, uh, each, uh, all these directions will be in the show notes, uh, and they were in the previous episodes where we talked about it as well. The uh, show notes were there uh, describing the directions of how to get to and from Franklin Canyon. There's two ways. There's one from the west side where you go up Beverly Drive into the Coldwater Canyon. And then there's one from the Sandy, uh, San Fernando Valley, uh, Ventura Boulevard, where you take Coldwater Canyon up to Mul Mulholland Drive. And that's the one I believe that we're going to be talking about today because that's the direction I came from. Okay, so... The directions will be in the podcast notes, so you'll be able to grab them and carry them with you if you ever get the opportunity to go to uh, go to California. So these are in the the Beverly Hills area of California, and it's supposedly the geographic center of Los Angeles. Okay, just so you know that. So it's in Los Angeles, California. So we were coming from over on the. Uh, Coldwater Canyon side over on Ventura Boulevard, as I said, and you turn, uh, you turn there and head up Coldwater Canyon toward Mulholland, uh, Mulholland Drive, to head to the fishing hole. So as you get up to the top of the hill, there is a intersection of Coldwater Canyon and Mulholland Drive, and you take a, it's about a 90 degree turn onto Franklin Canyon Drive, is the name of it. But there, but when I was there. It maybe it's changed. But when I was there, there were no street signs telling you that it was called Franklin Canyon Drive. So you turn there, and I have a picture that you can see on the uh, video version uh, that you can kind of see the actual area, kind of a street view. This was kind of Google Street View version of this. Uh, but then you turn, and you head into this area. Uh, and when I was there, there was a sign there that actually said, Road Closed 800 Feet. Uh, and then and it also said sunrise to sunset. So at, eight, at sunrise to sunset, you can't go down through there. And that's the park entrance. Uh, don't make a U-turn. Don't be fueled because uh, you'll, uh, you'll think you're going the wrong way and heading into some residential area. But you go down this road. And as you go through there, you'll come to a sign that says Franklin Canyon. And you'll know you're at the right place. You're at Myers Lake. So this is where Myers Lake, Andy, and Opie walked on the beginning of each episode. 
So as you drive around there, as you come in, I'm coming in from, as I said, from the uh, Ventura side. And when I came in, I'm at the north part of Franklin Canyon. And as you go in there, you'll see these wooden wooden railings on each side of the road. Now those, if you've seen the Return to Mayberry movie, Andy, uh, when he was coming back to Mayberry after being gone for all those years, he actually was driving down this road and stopped and got out and walked around and put his foot up on these wooden rails. And this is the exact spot where it was. It's also where... Uh, the uh, remember when the escaped convict was trying to steal Andy's boat and go across Myers Lake and get away, and Andy knew it had a hole in the bottom. Well, these wooden railings—that's where Andy and the state police guys were standing, looking down at Myers Lake as the man tried to roll a, row across. But this is it. So as you're going down through there, uh, it's just the, the as you get just past those wooden rails, there's a parking area on the left. And what you want to do is pull over to those parking area. And when you do, there, it's raised. It's probably about 15 feet higher than the area where Andy and Opie walked. So when you go and get out of your car and walk back to the north just a little bit to look down the hill, you'll see it. And as you see, it's, it goes back through there. Now, I don't know about you guys, but at the beginning of the Andy Griffith Show, I always thought that that was a dirt road that disappeared into the distance. Well, what it really turns out, it's a much shorter trail than that that narrows as it gets further away. And so it gives the appearance of being a very long dirt road that goes off into the distance when really it was a dirt road or a dirt trail that narrowed as it got further away and it gave you the perception of it being a long road. So don't get confused if you get to go there and see it. But, but you will see that this is where Andy and Opie walked at the beginning of the Andy Griffiths show. It's uh, not much different than it was then. The trees are obviously bigger. It's been 55 years, almost. It probably has been 55 since it was filmed uh, the first time. And uh, the trees are bigger, and they're big boulders and stuff that were on the ground. They're not there. But when you walk down the hill and get to the bottom and you stand there and then look back up that path, uh, it's almost like you could see Andy and Opie about to walk down through there as you stand there. Uh, so it's a it's a great place to do to go and see because you can get to position of the camera pretty close uh, because there are photographs of when Andy and Opie walked that path. Uh, they've got photographs from behind the scenes, so you can kind of see. And uh, of course, then the area where Opie actually threw the rock, the water has receded from there because the Franklin Canyon Reservoir has a earthen dam, and the dam uh, they were afraid would not hold all the water that was in the lake so they have reduced the size of franklin canyon lake so the area where opie threw his rock has got a lot of cattails and things like that in the area but the lake is still there uh, it's just smaller uh, but it's still there now another other thing when you're there if you get back in your car and head on around the lake you'll see the game warden's house uh, that when andy and helen were out fishing without a license and had to go pay a fine that house is right there on the property. That's where Andy and Helen were taken. And uh, then as you go across the, uh, the, earthen, or the earthen dam, you can get to the other side of the lake, and that's where uh, Howard and Floyd, where they called old, old Sam, is on the opposite side from where Andy and Opie walked at the beginning of the episode. So it's, uh, it's really a lot of fun if you get a time to go there. As if you continue going around the lake, You'll end up with uh, concrete barriers, uh, kind of like you see on a divided four-lane highway. they got those concrete things in the middle to keep the cars from coming across. They have those around the edge of the road that you're on. Well, there's a spot there, which I am almost certain is where Mr. McBeavy, when he climbed down from the telephone pole after he had answered the phone up on the telephone pole and he climbed down and got back in his truck and drove off, it was filmed right around that same road that goes around Franklin Canyon Reservoir. And you can see that if you uh, take time and just look around, you'll see it. And then there's also the where where Dud was wanting to marry Charlene. You remember when Ernest T had kidnapped Barney and they and Barney uh, Barney was off with Ernest T, but the Darlins and Andy were standing there and the preacher married him. Well, that area, 
is right around the lake as well. So if you ever get to go to Franklin Canyon Reservoir, there are a lot of sights to see. And I definitely hope you get to do that someday because it was uh, so fun to me. I, I had my Mayberry Memories book by Jim Clark and Ken Beck. Had it with me. It's got all kinds of great photos that were taken around Myers Lake or Franklin Canyon. And you can hold that book up and you try to figure out, wow, this I think this was taken here. And it's, an, it's, it's exciting. So know that that place exists. So if you're ever in California in the Los Angeles area, this is a really easy place to get to. And it's about the only place where they actually filmed Andy Griffith Show episodes that uh, so that you could actually see them uh, and go back and actually visit that same location. And I know that you would enjoy it. Uh, I mean, I, I loved it. Uh, when we were out there, and you'll hear the music from the Andy Griffith Show playing here in just a second. When we were out there, my son and I uh, recorded, uh, there it is. We actually recorded ourselves walking around the lake and made a video of the two of us uh, where I was carrying a stick and he was carrying a stick and he ran down and picked up a rock and threw it into the, what what now is cattails, but it was it was uh, a lake then. So we walked around and we, and of course, as we were doing it, we had to film it several times. And uh, I put the video on YouTube several years ago. Now, when I put the uh, video on YouTube, uh, I made it black and white and I added the music you were just hearing uh, so that people could see, uh, you know, they could see us doing that. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Now, now <laughs> I will tell you what was really fun about it was that uh, a few years ago, they accidentally picked up the uh, that particular video uh, that the Huffington Post uh, had thought it was the actual Andy Griffith show opening credits. So they were contacted pretty quickly and let know uh, let them know about it. But in 2012, they ran a article called "Andy Griffith Show Filming Location in L.A.: How to Recreate the Opening Credits." So it says, even though North Carolina is fictional town, is a fictional town, fans looking to pay homage to Andy Griffith and his show can still visit the next blessed place, Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles Times points to a hiking trail around a man-made reservoir, Franklin Canyon, uh, that is used that was used to film the show's opening credit. Sheriff Andy Taylor and his son Opie. Uh, walked around the lake with the fishing poles in her hands. And basically, they ended up running as part of that article. Uh, they said, learn how to access the trail and watch how this father and son recreated the show's opening credit. And so they, they posted both the opening credits that my son and I did, as well as, a, just below that, the actual opening credits of the Andy Griffith Show. And uh, that was also, it ran not only in the Huffington Post, but also in the New York Times, which I didn't know that until today when I started looking for this. <laughs> so uh, there's, uh, that was a, a very fun thing for us. We had recreated that scene and I made it black and white and kind of blurred it a little bit so that it looked like an old recording of a black and white version of the Andy Griffith show. Anyway. It's exciting. So as I said, there is, uh, there are directions will be in our show notes about how to go to Franklin Canyon. So if you're in California, you can go. If you ever head out there to go to Disneyland or Legoland in San Diego, it's only about a couple of hours from San Diego. So you could definitely go and check this stuff out. All right. All right. So that's enough about uh, that particular thing. I have something else I wanted to show you guys. I ran across a while back. And I think I had shared it in our chat room, but I don't think I had shared it uh, with everybody else. So I was watching TV the other day, you know, surprise, because, uh, you know, I watch Andy Griffith show and stuff. I must watch TV a lot. And I, uh, I ran across uh, this commercial. And I want you to listen to this commercial because uh, you're not going to see it unless you're on the podcast, uh, video podcast. But listen to the voice in this commercial. Are you ready? There's nothing like Gold Peak's home-brewed taste. 
It starts with mountain-grown tea, pure filtered water, and just the right balance of sweetness. It's a taste that's perfectly crafted every time. Gold Peak, the taste that brings you home. So there we are. So who is that? <laughs> That's Ron Howard. Ron Howard. So there was Opie. I recognized his voice immediately. I ran off and looked it up on the internet, and sure enough, Ron Howard is a spokesman for Gold Peak uh, Sweet Tea. I'd never heard of that. Gold Peak Tea uh, is the name of it. So uh, definitely, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to try this tea if I ever see it. I've not seen this in the store, so I'm going to have to check it out. So there you go, Ron Howard. And I found another Mayberry connection. This was another one. Now, this particular commercial is for Ortho Weed Be Gone. Okay, so how is this Mayberry related? Okay, it is. I want you to listen to the music being played. And as it's played, I'll go ahead and tell you uh, what to be listening for because, well, we've all heard Barney sing, you know. We tried to keep him from singing in the choir. And you know the song he was going to sing? Listen really close to this, uh, to this ortho commercial's background music. Some weed killers are overzealous. They even destroy your lawn. Ortho Weed Be Gone kills weeds, not lawns. Our label says it. Your grass proves it. Get Ortho Weed Be Gone. The label tells the story. There you go. Oh, oh let me stop that. As the next part was the Andy Griffith Show, obviously. Uh, Ortho, we begun. Did you hear that? Let's play it one more time. Some weed killers are overzealous. They Breathe even destroy your lawn. Song. Ortho, we begun <laughs> kills weeds. Good old 14A. Our label says it. Your grass proves it. Get Ortho, we begun. The label tells some weed killers are overzealous. Isn't that amazing? They even Good old 14A Ortho is weed selling weed killers. Kills weeds, not lawns. <laughs> our label says it. Your grass proves so it's, play, it's doing our weed killing commercials for us. So I, I thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, I couldn't believe it when I first heard it. Luckily, nowadays, we most of us have DVRs where we can actually rewind. And as soon as I heard that, I, I was grabbing the remote and rewinding the TV to see if I was right. I said, did you hear that? That was good old 14A. Because I recognized the song. And then I was like, what, what was that? And, and I knew I was supposed to know it. So, folks, there's Mayberry everywhere. Be watching for it. And uh, just uh, see if you can't have a little bit of uh, Mayberry fun in your life like that. Because uh, I know I'm always running across it. <laughs> I guess I'm just, uh, you know, I'm always thinking about the Andy Griffith Show, maybe. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. Is that a problem or is that good? I guess it's good nowadays because there's a lot worse things to be thinking about. All right, folks, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little bit about Myers Lake. I hope you found out about these two commercials that uh, might be a little interesting. Be watching the TV forum. It's Weed Be Gone by Ortho, and official. it's the Gold Peak uh, Tea uh, is what it is. Gold Peak Tea is who uh, Ron Howard is the uh, spokesman for. So if you guys run across things like this, I'd love to hear about them. You can give me a call at 888-684-8415. Or you can email me at floyd at imayberry.com. There's all lots of ways to get in touch with me, and I would love to hear from you because it's, uh, it's always fun to find out things like this. Let me know what you thought about the episode. If you go to Franklin Canyon, definitely take pictures and send them to us so we can all share in your fun. All right, folks, have a great week. A happy 4th of July if you're listening to this the week of 4th of July when I'm recording it. And we will see you next week right here on Two Chairs No Way.